Okay, hey, so we know how to find the numerical value of logarithms if they're base 10, in which case on the computer or on the calculator you just would push the log key. Bleep, bleep, that's all there is to it. Or with a natural log, which appears a lot, you just push the natural log key, the ln key, bleep, and you got that set up. So no problem there. But what if you want to actually numerically eval evaluate something like this? Like maybe log base 7 of 12. Well, there's no log base 7 key on your computer, I guarantee it, or on your calculator. How about if you want log base 3 of a half? No log base 3 key on your calculator. What if you want log base 3 halves of 2? Well, there's no log base 3 halves button on your calculator or computer as well. So, so in fact, if you wanted to find these values, you know, what would you do? Well, it turns out there's a really cool way of actually taking different bases like this and converting them, changing them to a common base. For example, a log base 10 or a natural log, log base e. And I want to tell you the formula for that and then show you where that comes from. So you can actually use the calculator to compute all these things once you know how to make the change of base. So let me show you the change of base formula. I'm going to write it up first, and then I'm going to show you why it's actually true. So here's the formula. If you have log base b of x, and you want to change the base here to something else, let's say to base a, all you do is take log base a of x and divide it by log base a of b. That is the formula. So if you have a logarithm that's in terms of b as a base, but you want a logarithm that's in terms of a as a base, well then this is a conversion. Because log base b of x is the exact same thing as log base a of x. That's the right base you want. And then you have to divide by log base a of b. Now, where does this come from? And, and you know, I hope you don't memorize this. I hope you just think about it. And I'm going to show you how to think about it. Let me take this uh, thing right here, this side, the left-hand side, and I'm going to call that y. So let's let y just represent that thing. Okay? My fantasy is to show you that y is actually also equal to this side. That would mean these two things are equal. Okay, well now, uh, how would you uh, arrive at that fantasy? Well, all I'm going to do is figure out what this means by using a little mantra that I've been chanting you know, for quite a while now, log is an exponent. So this is the exact same thing as saying that log is the exponent. So y is the exponent I have to raise b to in order to get x. So what that means is b to the y equals x. These two statements are identical. OK, great. Now what do I do? Now what I'll do is I'll take the logarithm with respect to base a of both sides. If two numbers are equal, they're logarithms. Logging both sides is completely OK. So let's log both sides. So if I take the logarithm of both sides, what that would mean is log base a of by would equal log base a of x. See, if two numbers are equal, their logarithms will be equal as well. So in fact, I just took the log of base a of both sides. OK, but now I use that great property of logarithms that if I have log of something to a power there, that can be pulled out in front. So if I do that, what do I see? I see y log a base a of b equals log base a of x. And if I solve this for y, I just divide both sides by log base a of b. It cancels here, and what do I see? I see that y equals log base a of x divided by log base a of b. But wait a minute. Remember that y equals log base b of x. So if y equals that and y equals that, these things must be equal. I just proved that formula to you. Wasn't that big of a deal at all. All I did was call this thing y, untangled it, took the log of both sides, and I got the formula. So this change of basis formula actually works, and now you can see why. So coming back to this thing, not a problem. How would we handle this? Well, let's try this and see. 
Suppose, well, I mean, on the calculator you have an option. You can either use the, the log key or the natural log key. It doesn't make a difference. I'll do natural log just for the first one, just to show you that doesn't really make a difference. Because if it's natural log that I want, then all I know is that this is the exact same thing as natural log of 12 divided by natural log of 7. It's that easy. That's log base 7 of 12. And so what does that equal? Well, you just open up the old calculator. Well, you don't open up the calculator. If you opened it up, you'd see the back side. But if you turn it on, then you just take the natural log of 17, and you uh, divide that by the natural log of 7. And that equals 1.4559 stuff. And that makes sense, because what power do you have to raise 7 to to make it 12? Well, something a little bit bigger than 1, but certainly much less than 2, because 7 squared is 49. So it's just got to be something a little bit bigger than 1. Okay, neat. Let's try this one. Uh, log base 3 of a half, we could use natural log again. Natural log of a half divided by natural log of 3. It's really easy once you see the formula. Use the calculator. So we take natural log of a half and divide it by natural log of 3, and we get minus, uh-oh, is that okay, 0. 0.6309 stuff. Is minus okay? Let's think about it for a second. Well, I'm asking what power do I have to raise 3 to in order to make it 1 half? Well, to get it to flip, I actually do need a negative sign. So that checks, and this has to be smaller than 1. I've got to be taking some sort of root of it to make a 3 out half. To make a 3 a 2, rather. So, in fact, I take the point, you know, 6, 3 power, and that does it. So that looks good. Let's do one last one. And just for fun, I'll do this one in logs. Log base 2 over log base 3 halves. You might want to check, by the way, and try doing some of these ones that I did before using the log key. You'll get the exact same answer. doesn't make a difference. You'll get the exact same answer. So I'll use logs here now. Let's take the log of 2 and divide it by, whoops, clear this, log of 2 divided by log of 3 divided by 2, and that equals 1.7 something. So that's 1.7095. And does that make sense? Well, let's think about that for a second. Um, 3 halves have to be raised to some power in order to make it equal 2. So since 3 halves is less than 2, that power should be, in fact, bigger than 1. But if I were to square it, that would be 9 fourths, and 9 fourths, 9 fourths, if I were to square it, uh, let's see, did I do everything okay? 9 fourths and square it, uh, let's see, 9 fourths, what is 9 fourths? Oh yeah, that's, oh yeah, of course, that's a little bit bigger than 2, that's right. So in fact, it has to be a little bit less than 2, because see, 3 halves squared is 9 fourths, and 9 fourths, well, that's too big because that's actually bigger than 2. So this has got to be a little bit less, a little bit less than 2. Okay, now let's see. Everything okay here? Everything looks great except for one little typo I made. One little typo. I know that it was flashing there all this time saying, can you find the typo? Can you find the typo? And you thought, gee, he didn't know there was a typo. I knew there was a typo. I knew. What was a typo? It was a typo right here. Instead of a, instead of a 17, what's this going on here? This should have been a 12. So there's a typo there. That, that 12 should have been 17. Now, it does look like a 17. It does look like a 12 if you do this. See, there's no typo. No typo. But in fact, that was just a typo. That should be a 12 divided by 7. It probably changes the answer, by the way. Let me just quickly do that for you to report the actual news there. Actual retail value is sort of big finish. Here we go. Ah, it turns out that this is still bigger than 1. We've already argued that. But it's, it turns out it's 1.2769, and it goes on. So that means 7 to that power gives me, gives me 12. Cool. OK, anyway, if you try to remain typo-free and use this really neat formula, you can change any exotic base to either a natural log or a base 10 base without any sweat at all. Have some fun and try these on your own.